Marion Croak holds over 200 patents, and most of her inventions are used all around the world. In 1982, she joined AT&T Bell Laboratories and worked there for over three decades. She was born on May 14, 1955, and raised in New York City. As a child, she was always inspired by plumbers, electricians, and other workers who would come into her house to fix things when they broke. Growing up, the person she admired the most was her father. He didn't have a deep formal education, but he inspired her to have curiosity. Both of her parents were, but he was just so proud of her. And when Marion wanted to study mathematics, he was right there along with her, cheering her on. Marion felt inspired to develop technology that would transform the internet. And she predicted that the internet would take over wire technology. At her job, Marion saw a problem. Phones needed wires and long distance calls were very expensive. Then she had an idea. What if you could talk over the internet instead? In 1994, she established the fundamentals of what is called voice over internet protocol. Her amazing inventions made it possible to convert your voice into a digital signal. And this allowed you to make a call directly from your computer or another digital device. When we used to communicate over what was called the public um, telephone network, the PSTN, it was completely dedicated to voice communication. And it was just crystal clear. It had very, very high reliability, meaning whenever you picked up a phone, rarely did you get any type of noise or distortion voice is real time you, you know i make a sound you make a sound back to me and that's how we communicate that takes a lot of effort to make sure that it's going to be reliable so when i first started working in this technology area it didn't work the voice would sound very distorted a lot of times the network would just fail and the more traffic you would put on the network meaning the more conversations the worse it would become. Because of Marion's work, families can hear each other's voices, even if they're far away. Friends can laugh together, even from different countries, and teachers can teach students right through the screen. Today, Marion works at Google. She helps make smart technology like computers and artificial intelligence safe for everyone. In 2022, she was added into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. So I think it just helps us to be able to be inspired by someone who's human, who can somehow make what seems impossible possible. When I'm in a room with other engineers or other researchers or scientists, we're all alike. You know, we're all trying to solve a common problem. And you can forget about what people may look like, where they may come from.